A military complex in a strange Alaskan town, abandoned to the elements 54 years ago. Join me as we journey into the paranormal and discover that things aren't always as they seem. What's up wieners, I'm Max and today we're going to be talking about a pretty spooky little spot in South Central Alaska. The Buckner building has been purported haunted for years and I myself have captured a strange piece of footage from inside. I'll be showing that footage later in the video so please stick around and tell me what you think about it in the comments. Halloween may have passed, but I decided what the hell we could use some more spookiness before turkey season dawns. I mean if Zach Baggins can run a ghost adventure special for every holiday, I feel like I can put out a little ghost video a few days after Halloween. Am I right? Oh! So to get to the Buckner building, you're gonna have to go to a small Alaskan town called Whittier. Whittier has routinely been called the strangest town in Alaska, and here's why. Since Whittier is surrounded by mountains and oceans to all sides, the lifeline to the town is a two and a half mile long single lane tunnel that's been blasted through the mountains. This 12 foot wide cavern is utilized in both directions by passenger vehicles and trains. And may I say it's a bit spooky? It's not uncommon for avalanches to close this tunnel for days. So make sure you're on the right side at least a week before Christmas to get all those last minute gifts. Another strange thing about Whittier is that everyone who lives here lives in the same apartment building. That's right, don't input the wrong apartment for that Playboy subscription. This obviously leads to some contentious situations and I've heard some strange tales. The last odd thing about this place is of course, the Buckner building. This eerie erection was built in 1953 and at the time of its erection it was the largest building ever to have been erected in Alaska. Built as a strategic military installation commissioned by General William Buckner, the building came to be known as the city under one roof, housing a mess hall, sleeping quarters, bowling alley, bakery, tunnels connecting to the town, a movie theater, and a jail. By 1966, the building was abandoned and has been left to the elements ever since. I've heard lots of stories about this place. It's overrun by bears, inhabited by the devil, chock full of soldier ghouls. Even that it's the best skiing destination this side of Aspen. But I've always been a skeptic and approaching this visit, I was feeling pretty good. I've been to lots of places purported haunted and I've never run into anything supernatural. Immediately upon entering this place, I was hit with a real spooky feeling. I mean, this place is dark, dank, falling apart, and f massive. The second thing I noticed was all the graffiti. This place has clearly been inhabited throughout the years and I'm guessing served as a make out point for all the high school kids. Probably peaked in 2008 with that old vampire craze going around. But then exploring deeper into the abandoned stairways, elevator shafts, and bathrooms, we began to run into some spookier art. And this is where I captured the first unexplained picture. This was taken with a clean lens. There was no external light in the stairway, no bugs, nothing moving in front of the camera. So I really can't explain this picture. If it's clear to you what caused this and you think I'm just being a spanky Yankee noob, please let me know in the comments. So at this point I hadn't reviewed any of the footage I'd taken so far. Other than the haunting graffiti, I was pretty unassuming. I walked into a bathroom on the third floor and decided to film myself walking into each stall. Honestly, I was doing this more as a novelty. I had seen so many horror movies and ghost hunting TV shows where this is kind of used as a cliche. And even as I skimmed the footage on the way home, I didn't notice anything particularly weird. But when my friends and I sat down and shared all our footage later that night, I took a closer look at that clip and what I saw chilled me to the bone. All right, let me slow that down for you in case you didn't catch it. Look at that shimmer. It's insane. I have absolutely zero explanation for this. And when I showed it to my friends, we were all petrified. I am in no way affiliated with the Travel Channel, but I can say with 100% certainty that this clip is absolutely 
Zach Baggins approved. But for real guys, if any of you wieners have any explanation as to what this might be, let me know in the comments so I can have some peace of mind. And as always, make sure to leave a thumbs up and hit that little subscribe button down there so you can get notified about all my new videos. And lastly, a word of caution from my legal team. Since my journey into hell, Whittier has bought and fenced off the Buckner building. I advise against exploring for yourself as this place is filled with asbestos. The city might throw you in the clink and you may be haunted for eternity. See you next time.